talking to your PDFs in different AI chats is one of the best ways that you can win back time. But most people do it the wrong way and they can't get it to work. So I'm going to show you the kind of secret way on how to properly export your PDFs so that different AI chats can read them. All right, let's dive in. Before we get started, if you're new here, my name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like you and me learn and leverage generative AI. So please subscribe to this channel. Let me know if you like this video, but more importantly, go to youreverydayai.com and sign up for that free daily newsletter. All right, so I'm gonna show you the wrong way and the right way on how to properly configure your PDFs so that you can chat with them in different AI systems like ChatGPT or Anthropic Cloud. So I'm gonna show you the wrong way and then the right way, okay? So I have a pretty pretty simple PDF here, but you'll see it's image-based. So this isn't you know something that, I, that starts out as a dot .doc um, and then exports to a PDF. So, um, you know, systems like ChatGPT, Anthropic Cloud, et cetera, are much better at dealing with those types of files, where if it's more image-based, so, you know, traditional uh, OCR, uh, which is um, how uh, traditionally computer vision would see different PDFs, it, it would see something like this and it would see it all as images because it is. I built this to be more of an image-based uh, resource than a traditional text-based PDF. So you'll scroll through it and generally, uh, so let's just actually do this the wrong way first. So, uh, you know, it, this the settings vary on, you, you know, what you're using, whether you are starting in PowerPoint or Photoshop. In this case, I'm just in Canva because I love Canva. We actually did a show with uh, Canva's head of AI. So I'm just going to go to uh, export and I'm going to click PDF standard. And what I always do for all of my PDFs is I always flatten them because I share them on the screen. Um, and at least for me, that makes sure they, they load properly when I'm sharing my screen. So that's what I always do. So if I download the PDF like that, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and jump in to a new chat inside here, inside ChatGPT. And I'm going to say something very simple, like, please summarize this PDF. All right. And I'm going to do the exact same thing in ChatGPT and in Claude. So I'm going to go ahead. There's my PDF that I just did. Um, and I'm going to go ahead. And once it loads, I'm going to send it and we're going to compare the results. So while we're waiting for that, let's do the same thing here in Claude. I'm going to upload the the way I exported it first, which is print and flattening. All right, so uh, doing the same thing here in Claude, nothing tricky with the prompt here. There's no prompt engineering happening, just saying, please summarize this PDF, keeping it very simple. We'll give Claude a second and we'll check back in on ChatGPT. So you'll see we're, we're kind of getting an error, but it can start to read some of it. So it says, it seems the file you've uploaded contains images or is in a format that doesn't allow for direct text extraction. So this is where most people stop and they say, oh, these AI tools, they can't even read my documents. They're they're dumb, these you know AI smart chatbots. Now it's just got to uh, give these machines uh, these, you know, uh, large language models, you have to give them files in a way that they can actually read it and understand it and use kind of the computer, uh, kind of the baked in computer vision or uh, image re recognition and image understanding. You have to upload files in a way that they can actually understand it. So let's actually do this. Well, let's see how Claude did with it. Same thing. So it says, I'm sorry, but it looks like you have actually not provided the content of the PDF in the document. Weird. Okay. Because I actually did. Nope. I'm in the air. Right, so here's what you actually have to do. So now we're going to go inside um, Canva. Again, depending on where you uh, do this, your settings may vary. So now I'm just going to do uh, standard PDF print, and I'm not going to flatten anything. All right, so uh, this is kind of the equivalent of a standard export if you were using like uh, Adobe Photoshop as an example. Um, and I'm going to click download. All right. So now what we're going to do, just so we know that there's nothing funny going on here, we're just going to open a brand new chat. So we're starting from scratch. We're saying, please summarize this PDF. Here's our new one. And then we're going to go ahead and send that. As the kids say, full send that one. Uh, I don't think the kids say that. All right. So uh, we're going to start a fresh chat here in Claude as well. And we're using the Opus model. Um, and let's go ahead and upload that. We're doing this all live. We don't edit these videos. Uh, we like to show you how they work live. All right. And let's see if that does a little bit better of a job. So now we're jumping into ChatGPT. It's going live. And obviously, it is getting it correct. Because uh, here we're saying it says, oh, here's 
The NVIDIA GTC Recap, Three Ways NVIDIA is Going to Change the AI World by Jordan Wilson, the founder and host of Everyday AI. Did a great job here, right? Um, and you'll see here, it pretty much just gave me copy and paste. Um, you, you know, exactly what was in the document, which is essentially what I was looking for. Um, and then let's just go into Claude. And there we go. Sure enough, Claude got it right as well. So here it says the PDF uh, NVIDIA, you know, NVIDIA GTC recap discusses the key takeaways, right? Uh, I think obviously ChatGPT did a little bit better of a job with basic prompts, but uh, if we prompted this a little better, we could probably get better outputs out of both. So that's it. Uh, you, you know, this, I, I wanted to create a super short and simple video. Uh, you know, we do these kind of uh, what we call AI and fives every single day to help people better leverage generative AI technology. So uh, hopefully that saves you a ton of time. This is the proper way uh, to configure your PDFs. So the different large language models and smart AI chats can actually use them. So go to your everyday sign up for that free daily newsletter. I hope this is helpful. So hope you can join us back for another AI and five. Thanks y'all.